Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be a flip through or a setup video on how I use my Hominichi Techo Cousin. I am using this alongside my Weeks currently and pretty much the best thing ever. So as you can see, I don't have a cover on it. I did have a chance to purchase the the cover, but I realized it didn't come with the cover on cover plastic. So I was just like, what's the point, you know? So I am trying to see if I could buy the choose to do a five covers. My friend Erica G here on YouTube and also on Instagram did have one. So I think I'm gonna be purchasing that. So anyways, for my Hobonichi, I do have sort of a very celestial slash galaxy slash sailor moon theme going on in here i think because as you guys know or may not know i am obsessed with all of those things so this is the cousin the cousin is literally one book but you can get an avec version of this the same way you can get it for the a6 meaning the year is cut into two different books so anyways as you first open your hobonichi it should not look like this. <laughs> I have decorated it with simply gilded washi. I kept the cover at a bare minimum, but I wanted to decorate the inside, but normally this is what it should look like. So the first thing you're gonna get is, when you open it up, is three years at a glance. But as you can see, a lot of these are in Japanese. I don't know if there is an English version for the cousin. Maybe there is but please check out their website. I will have that link down below. So I pretty much read a little bit of kanji because, or Japanese, because it's so close to Chinese. Almost the symbols for the year, the months, the days are pretty much the same. And then you get to these pages. I'm not quite sure exactly what it's called, but I know a lot of people use this for future planning, habit tracking, and pretty much, um, yeah, future log. So what I personally use this page for is to track when I change inks, if it's the colored or the black ink, when I change blades, mat, YouTube uploads, new releases, and I still have room for other things to track, but pretty much it's really brand or business. And then like in the bottom right here, there's a little bit of room. So what I ended up writing, what I did was for that month, I changed all three mats. Um, and on January 24th, I change Sam's blade. So I named my silhouettes and it's easier to track who's broken, who's messing up, um, which blade I change when, you know, things like that. I plan to be better <laughs> with these pages, but pretty much you do have it starting in January and pretty much just a 12 month. And then for your monthly, it does start in December. The A5 starts coming out as early as November. And then the monthly goes all the way. I believe you'll have three months of the following year. Yeah, so it goes through all the way March 2020. I will show you an example, maybe this page, because I didn't decorate January. So for the monthly view, I pretty much, this isn't complete, but um, I was just gonna tell you what I do with it. So I track things that are coming out of my debit cards, like auto debit, things like that. Things that are happening if Edna has no school, um, you know, parent-teacher conferences, or important dates that I know that are already happening, let's say girlfriends are meeting up, things like that, or planner meetup, it will go on the monthly view. And then almost right after March will be the first day of your weekly pages, which is December 31st. So for the weekly pages, this is pretty much, let me show you guys, like an actual week that I decorated. I have this sticker, like the sticker kit still on the shop if you're interested. So pretty much in the weekly pages, I just write down like an overview of what I'm doing on that day. So let's say on Thursday, I went to the gym and picked up my gym tag, um, more CPC prep. I didn't go into details what I did, but I have a zombie barrel there because it was literally just cut and print. And then I had to call car insurance that day. So I can look back in this page and be like, oh, what did I do that day? And then this is pretty much my favorite week so far. This is the CPC week. It was very busy. I wasn't a pro yet on what pens to use because this one smudged. I feel like it was residue, like water residue or moisture on my can of Pepsi and then it dripped there and then it went. Phew. 
now it's smudged all over the place but this is what it will look like if you put the full boxes in the middle checklist on top and then I kept the bottom empty if it's a normal day for me shop stuff here and then family stuff down here and then if there will be like YouTube or anything Grace Gold brand it will go here so then I have these tabs this one says important I have a daily one that says today and then for the monthly I have remember but these are just the simply gilded um, stickers it looks like this and I stuck the two that resembles the most with the same background and pretty much I took one of these like tabs and put the sticker up top trimmed a little bit and then these are pretty much like repositionable for the weekly it does and you do get a few days after the new year and then after that it's just pretty much a blank page people use this for like goal setting or vision boards things like that or they just have like habit trackers here too so it's totally up to you and then immediately it's day one or January 1 so for my daily pages they're pretty much shop stuff <laughs> or YouTube stuff and I tend to have little notebooks here and there wherein I track what stock I made colors or glitter headers that I made that day um, the color codes for those and things like that and I tend to not bring those notebooks everywhere and I will lose it and then there goes all the information I just wrote down this way I have this entire huge page to go with me to write on and all of the information I need will be in one book so the daily pages go all the way so this is still December Christmas week literally December 31 and then you have three pages of grid and then that's it and then the rest are these like timetable graph pages favorites What did I write here? I think I wrote stuff recipes in the back right here I'm covering my personal information but you could also put your name your email address and phone number things like that where people can find you and then in the bottom right here it's all of the Hobonichi social media links including their website and email and then we are in the back page and that's pretty much it for my Hobonichi Tacho I hope you guys found this video helpful or got some ideas on how to use your Tacho Remember, this paper is the Tomo River paper and it's very, very thin, so be careful on what kind of pens you use in it because it can tend to smudge or bleed, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below or request for more Hobonichi videos. I'd love to do them. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!